All right. Uh, so today we're going to start working on Thackeray Binks, and I'm actually going to do Emily in the same video because their outfits are kind of plain and boring. So there's, you know, they'll be quick and easy. So I thought I'd just do them both in one video. But before I get started, I'm going to talk about these dolls that I've been getting. <clears throat> these have been coming off eBay, and um, I think they've all came off eBay except for uh, Billy. I think I got him at the flea market. But um, yeah, these, uh, I think, I, yeah, every one of them's come off eBay. And some of them came in a lot. Some of them I've had to buy individually. Um, I think I got... Uh, these two together and I've already cut her hair off I've already been working on this is going to be Emily I've already been working on her hair um, this one's actually going she's she's got some problems over here but uh, we'll fix her and she's actually going to be Dorothy for the Dorothy house so we don't really need her uh, with us right now because uh, we're just going to focus on all these now this will be, uh, I think this is going to be Ice and J is what I've decided. And I had to make sure that these had bendable legs because they will be sitting in those cages. And so I had to make sure I was getting somewhere I could pose them to be in a seating or a seated position. Um, so that's what that's going to be is uh, those two. And this is going to be <clears throat> the one that we work on today. This will be Thackeray and Emily. And um, I've already cut some of his hair. I took a razor blade and trying to shave his hair. Because he had like this little pompadour thing punched up here. Sort of, actually they've got the same head. You can sort of see how his bangs are, um, or his hair is kind of pumped up there. Pump, pumped up. I, I'm, I'm not talking straight today. I'm like not into this. <laughs> but uh, um, I've had a hard time trying to get to video in this week. Um, I'm just trying to get in the mood. But and then anyway, this is going to be um, uh, what are their names? Oh my gosh, uh, Max and Allison. So of course she'll get her hair cut and changed out later whenever I do her video. But um. So anyways, there's the two bullies. There's Max and Allison. And then today, again, we're going to work on uh, Thackeray and his little sister, Emily. Alright, so let's start with uh, Thackeray. And of course, I've got the stuff. He's got a pretty simple little outfit. He just has like this little white long sleeve shirt. And then um, little brown pants that just go below the knees. And, uh, of course, he didn't have shoes on in the movie, but, you know, you can't really find a doll that don't have uh, shoes. So my version will just have to have these little shoes on, which they look okay. They look like they're okay for the time period, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, so anyways, and of course, here in a little bit, I'll change out the hair. I'll have to add him some long hair and give him his little ponytail. But um, I'm just basically going to make up a little shirt little long sleeve shirt and the pants and I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that on him um, I may show how I cut them out and attach them because I'm gonna try to do a no so um, pair of pants because you know a lot of us don't well I mean I do but I just don't like sewing clothes this little um, so I'm gonna try to do this without sewing it so I'm just gonna cut out some parts and see how this goes um, I, I'm back I, uh, I've got all my little parts cut out. I've got me some sweet tea over here. You know, you take away a Southerner's sweet tea, we about rip your head off. So I had to, maybe that sweet tea will pep me up and get me more in the mood. Um, I've just been in a lazy mood today and I can't get in the mood to do anything. But, uh, so I've got these little parts cut out. Now this is how the piece looks folded. This how This is how it looks when it's, uh, not folded and that's sort of the shape you need for a pair of pants um, so I'm just going to glue this on like I said I was saying a second ago most people don't know how to sew 
So if I can do something to where you don't have to sew it, I think that'll help a lot of us out. And like I also said, when it comes to, um, you know, sewing something this little, I hate sewing little tiny doll clothes. Like if it's a Barbie size or smaller, I'm not doing it. Um, but, uh, so anyways, I'm just going to fold this around his leg. I'm going to start with the back and I'm just going to glue that down to the back of his leg. You don't even have to glue it to his leg, but, um, actually I'm not even going to do it on the doll. I'm just going to fold it over my finger and I'm going to fold it this way and then fold this one over the top. And just glue that to make that come together. And then it's hard to work with. I'm just going to fold this one over. And glue it real quick. And then do the same to this one. I just want this. Uh, like I want the back part to be under the front part. Because his leg will go down in there. But I just don't want that back part to be flipped around to where you're going to see it from the front if that makes sense like i want that bad part facing toward the back but anyway you'll see that once i get it done and then this side just do the opposite make sure you're folding it the, the opposite direction and then they'll come together and be the little pants but I, this may make more sense once i get this glued so let me glue these together and then we'll slip them on now one thing i'm going to do before i put those legs on is make him a little speedo like a little loin cloth and i've just cut out this little uh, v shape um of course it's doubled kind of like a little hourglass shape and, but something I was noticing right here on his back, I don't know that the camera will pick that up, but he's from 1993. And I just got so excited because, of course, that's the year the movie came out. So he is 30 years old, and I just thought that was so appropriate being from 1993. But anyways, I'm going to just take that up through here. And then just glue it on the front and the back and glue the side shut. And that was a simple little thing. And you're not really going to see most of that, so it don't have to look perfect. But that's just to cover up his little, his little bits down here um, so that when the leg goes on, it'll just help become part of the pant. And... Uh, so anyways, I'll get that glued on, and then we'll look at these legs a little bit better. Alright, so we've got that on, and now the legs have turned out pretty good, I guess, for them to just be glued. Now the glue, uh, you can sort of tell there's glue on there, but I don't think it's going to matter once it's up between the legs. I don't think it'll really show too bad, but I just... Uh, I noticed it was kind of easy to run something under there, like a pencil or something, just to help kind of do that. Like if your finger is too big, it just helps to have something under there to press it against. So I've just glued those together and created this little pant leg. And of course, I made two of those. So I'm just going to trim up any little threads that are sticking out because I'm not going to hem this. And for the bottom hem, I used the edge of the fabric that has that finished little edge. So I don't have to worry about trying to hem that. Um, but up here, I'm not going to fool with hemming these outside edges. So I just want to clean them up as good as I can. And then I'm just going to glue them on here. Just like that. And that'll make the little pants. And his shirt will cover this little area. That looks like a little, that looks pretty, pretty cool actually. 
if once I get it glued down good, that kind of looks like the little crotch part, like where the zipper and stuff would be, which back then they don't have zippers, but it just looks like a little pant piece. I mean, I don't even know what the parts are called, but anyway, it looks pretty good. So I'm just going to glue this on and I don't have to really worry about finishing that out because the shirt will come down and hide that. But I'll just figure out how I want to do this. I guess that looks pretty good. And so that's pretty, pretty easy. And it looks pretty good for just a glued together thing. Now I've got those glued on. And I think that looks pretty good for what it is. Now again, it, it's not like perfect but it looks good enough for what I need it to be. And uh, the back looks better than the front, but again, the shirt's gonna hang down. So anyways, um, I've got these little shapes here cut out for the sleeve. Now it goes up a little bit in the middle cause you have to allow for the shoulder. Um, that goes up on the shoulder as you can see. And then, you just kind of want to do the same for the, like I did on the, uh, uh, that's way too wide of a sleeve, but he did have sort of puffy sleeves, so I'm just going to leave them that big, but just glue this around, and then that shoulder piece will be up there, and then it'll, you can sort of see how that shape goes on the body, because if you just had a square, like if that's just a square cut straight across you wouldn't have it going up on the shoulder so that's why you cut it with that one part taller so that it can go up on the shoulder like you just saw all right so now uh i've got the sleeves done and they're just laying here drying um so while they're drying i'm going to cut this little shirt piece out and you want to make sure this is just a rectangle, and I'm not making this perfect. I don't mind this being a little ratty looking. So I'm just going to cut that rectangle and fold it, hold it up to his body, and just kind of eyeball the middle of it, just about like this, because you're going to need enough to come around his body. And then for the uh, sleeves... You, you don't want the shoulders to be that wide. So we're going to cut some of this off uh, to make where we want the shoulders to be. So I'm just going to fold it so we get the best, uh, you know, an even, uh, you know, make it even on both sides. So you're just going to fold it, put it right in the middle of his throat there, and then figure out where his shoulder is. I'm going to cut it probably there. These aren't very good scissors, but I'm going to cut a little curve. I'm going to cut this corner off. Just like that. So when you fold it back out, it's a little bit better because you can see it goes under his arms and the shoulders are more to where his shoulders will be. His arms are real funky, like they don't want to stay down. And when you bend them down, he looks like a muscle man. He's big old broad shoulders. But uh, that's kind of how you get a shirt shape. And then I'm going to fold it one more time. And then I'm going to cut this little corner off. And you want to kind of round it. I didn't go straight across. I just slightly rounded it. So that when it comes back, it's kind of got a rounded neck hole. Then I fold it this way. And I'm going to cut a little V right here in the front. That'll give us that little V neck. And I don't know if his head will 
uh, I better not pull that off. I'll end up breaking it. Hopefully that'll just... Uh, oh yeah, there we go. So there's his little shirt. Now I've just got to, just like the sleeves and the pants, just glue this around. I always go with the back first and run the front over the back so that fold will not be seen. But I don't want it real tight. You can make this really tight. Or you can do it looser. I, I mean, his shirt was kind of a puffy shirt, so I don't want to make it too tight. So I'm just going to glue that. But before I do this, i got to get these sleeves on. So I'm going to stick these sleeves on before I do this. I'm just going to glue them kind of to the shoulder. And then I'll put this over the top. And I don't care, like I said, I don't care that these edges are starting to fray because he's like a, sort of a poor little uh, farm boy, so he don't have to look perfect. And even after he runs through the woods, you notice his shirt gets really torn up anyway, so that'll just kind of be a little detail. And it looks kind of crazy and big, but I'm going to go in here in a minute and draw these uh, sleeves in with a little thread just to draw it in so it's not so big. Okay, so the next thing, I've got him looking like this right now. I've went around here with some white thread and just draw, drew that in around the wrist, and I've added this little white uh, string up here, and... I think he's pretty much done other than fixing the hair and I do have his little necklace his little cross necklace that I need to make so I've cut a piece of wire I'm not really sure what kind of uh, what gauge it is it, it holds its shape pretty good it's pretty easy to bend um, but I took one piece and created this little cross just one continuous piece, just made a little loop so that I can put it on a string. And I've just got to uh, paint this. Now, when I, uh, uh, let me grab something here because I, all right, so I bent that wire. And after I did that, I went over it with this super glue adhesive. It's kind of uh, rubbery filling once it's dry. And I just went over that uh, with that so that it'll have a better surface to paint. Because, again, you can't really paint on metal or glass and stuff. So I was just trying to think of a way to give that a uh, base to paint instead of just trying to paint wire. Um, so I've just got to paint this like a stick color. And then I know there's that little detail around where they've got it tied with a string. So I'm just going to take some of my embroidery thread and pull the parts away so that it's a little smaller uh, thread. And then after I get it painted, I will wrap it around to make it look like the thread is what's holding it together. And then, um, you know, get it hung on the string and... Then I guess that's it, other than just gluing the hair. And I'm just going to go ahead and have that done and just pull it back into a ponytail. Um, and i got to check his eye color. I don't know if he's got blue eyes or brown eyes, but I want to make sure I get the eye color right. So he looks pretty cute so far. And I've got uh, her going. I've made her little dress. I'm not real thrilled with the dress, but I'm not done with it, though. I've done it the same way as I did his shirt. I made the sleeves and then I just pulled the piece down over here, but I just made sure it was long enough. And then, of course, I've just got to style her hair. And, of course, she has a little bonnet, like a little lace bonnet. And this is like a tiny little, uh, I think this is supposed to be a snowflake. I have a whole bunch of these that someone has made. And I thought it was going to be the perfect thing to draw this up with a thread around her little head. And I think once it's on, it's going to make the perfect little uh, bonnet. And of course, I will put some strings on here 
to tie it down around her head, but I want to take a thread and draw it in so it's rounded. Draw it in. And it's just going to draw all those edges inward. And it's just going to make the cutest little bonnet. But of course, I'm going to have to probably do that while it's on her head because that's not stretchy. I guess I could probably use like a stretchy thread, but I don't know if I have one right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and probably just make it the size just enough open to where I can squish it down on her head. But that's going to be pretty darn cute once I get it uh, together. But I think I will probably just put it directly on the head and draw it up around the head because I don't plan on taking this off. All right, so here I finally got them done, and I absolutely love how they've turned out. For me to not have been in the mood to work on these, I think they've just turned out really, really cute. And, of course, my favorite part is the little cross. Um, you know, that's I think that's really cute how that's turned out. Um, see if you can see that. I don't know if you can see it. You have to really focus because with them being ghost, it's kind of hard to see. It, see the little cross you'll see it better um, once it comes back around um, but I think you can see them better now and, and her little hat it turned out really cute and um, you know I, I'm excited that I've got two two characters done in one video so now I'm just left with um, Ice, Jay, uh, Allison and Max and I think um, well I've got something I'm going to do with Max but I won't even say anything about those other characters but I, I'm getting really excited to do the Max character, uh, which I might try to do him next. Um, I know Ice and Jay are going to be a really hard, uh, the hardest ones to do, especially Ice, because he's got so much detail. But um, th these have turned out really cute. I'm really happy with them, and I just can't wait to get some pictures done uh, with these two. So that's what we'll check out now.